Good morning, Bean. It's Friday. Uh, in your last video, you talked a lot about change and the process of going into high school, and I was like, yes, real conversation. I can, I can mimic that. Because high school is definitely a very different time than middle school, and the people that you meet in high school are very different than the people you meet in middle school. But at the same time, like in our unique situation where we're going to the same school for high school as we do for middle school, there's a bit less change than most people experience going from middle school to high school. I think that 8th grade Lucas and 9th grade Lucas were much more similar than 9th grade Lucas and 10th grade Lucas. The changes that you have in your life usually aren't specifically constrained to the type of school you're in or like the year that changes, um, but I can definitely see why you're excited and scared and all of these other emotions about going into high school because I totally had the same things when I was your age. That makes me sound like an old man when I was your age. Ugh. I want to be a senior, like, like senior, 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 senior. I can definitely relate to your idea of changing as you're in a new environment, though. I mean, everyone can. Code switching is a thing. People are different with different groups of friends, people are different with their family, with their teachers, with their colleagues, with their coworkers, whatever. And I had, you know, a good amount of that change coming to high school summer session here. Like, I am definitely a slightly different person here than I am with my friends back home. And I had a chance to remake a bunch of first impressions seven weeks ago, and now those first impressions are long faded into a, a person that people now know as Lucas. And I, I think that's an authentic presentation of myself, and I really hope it is. Uh, but it's definitely not exactly what the people back home see. And honestly, that's a little exciting. I've gotten to try a couple new things and get myself out of my comfort zone in ways that I think I still would have done at home, but I would have been a little more hesitant about. Like, yesterday I went fountain hopping. I jumped into a bunch of different fountains with a bunch of my friends, and it was an awesome time. I was freezing cold by the end of it, but hey, it was fine. And I mean, right after that, I went into the coffee house for a warm meal because people were seriously concerned about my skinny white boy purple lips. You... You don't quite get those, but you're pretty close. I think you know what I'm talking about. And we went into the coffee house last night and they did an open mic night. Uh, so they had a bunch of stand-up comedians go on stage. Most of them were kind of horrible. Um, it wasn't like the most comfortable environment for everyone. Like there were a lot of race and sex jokes that we did not expect that like drove a ton of children out of there. But my friends were like, hey, you should go up. I don't know why I was the person chosen out of the group to do this, but they were like, yeah, you should come up. You should do comedy. And I was like, <laughs> because I've, you know, I've actually kind of considered doing some kind of stand-up for a while now. I've looked up to stand-ups, I've wanted to sort of like try that out for myself, and I was like, what better experience than an open mic night with a bunch of people that I'll never see again to test that out. So I, I went up, I did like three minutes on um, Stanford stuff in general, I did Grimberg Out of Context, I did my bit about like tourists on campus, and it actually like went over kind of well. Like I wasn't as nervous as I was expecting myself to be, I wasn't as horribly received as uh, the people who were making really just bad, bad jokes <laughs> about like the most controversial things. And like, I was, I was just out there like, hi, I am child. I talk about Stanford life. You like, yes, bye. Turned into Ev there for a second. I don't really know what happened. I got off the stage and like the, the MC was like, dude, how old are you? You should come back. And I was like, and I, I went back to the other stand-ups who had been up there last night and they were like, dude, you had a really good presence up there. Nice job. And I was like, all right. So like, apparently I'm not the worst stand-up at Stanford. That's cool. And that's definitely something I'd like to try again sometime. So I know what you mean about change, Bean. I am apparently a amateur stand-up comedian now. And uh, with that, I'll see you on Tuesday.